Oh, hey everybody, welcome to uh, Northern Line Live Super Sunday subscriber stream, the December 31st, 2017 edition. Wow. What, what more can you say? It's the 8,017th time the Earth has aged by a year, and it, it just feels as fresh as the first time. A mere 6,000 years ago, plus 2017, of course. I'm not going to sign into my Square Enix account, okay? We're going to play Life is Strange be, uh, Before the Storm. I always want to say Beyond the Storm, but it's not Beyond the Storm. That would be like Life is Stranger, the sequel. Um, why are we playing this? Well, honestly, like, it, it's a long story, okay? I thought, we, we have New Year's Eve plans, but I thought that New Year's Eve was actually Saturday until Saturday, which was yesterday. So I had a revelation yesterday that I was like, oh, holy crap, December is 31 days and today's only the 30th. So I didn't even know if there was going to be a stream today. There is a stream today. I was like, shit, we finished Undertale last week as well. And I'm not going to start a genocide run, at least not right away. So what do I play? So I went back into the, the minds of uh, fan suggestions from recently and I was like, you know what? Life is Strange was a lot of fun to play. Uh, lots to riff on. Lots that I genuinely enjoyed as well. Let's go play Before the Storm, which I hear is, uh, well, it's now done, so there's three episodes, and it's kind of like, uh, it, 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 most people have said that it's still pretty good, but maybe it's got a little mixed bagness associated with it. Controller just will not work. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't even want to use my controller anyway, so we'll just do it this way. Hell is empty. This one is really cringy, and I hate that word. There's gonna be a bonus episode next year. Don't you mean this year if you're in Australia? Start episode, I'm ready. Chat's gonna be awful during this? I don't know, They would. we, we got you through it in Life is Strange. A lot of people are, I think some people are a little bit too knee-jerk, uh, trigger-happy, and they're like, these teenagers are talking like teenagers, that's bad writing. But I think most people were, were kind of, uh, they kept it fairly well balanced. Man, Chloe just has no respect for trains, dude. Also, this is like way too loud probably, but we'll see. Teenagers do talk like this, just not in Boise, Idaho, okay? Sick, dude. Totally traumatized that train driver. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. She'd probably be more pissed about the, like, near accidental death than she would be about you going to a rock and roll concert. But then again, I don't pretend to know what American baby boomers think. No trespassing? No way. <laughs> I'm just, I'm getting used to the PC controls here. Okay, all right, Chloe, you're you're taking it a little too far right off the bat here. Holy shit! You just gave double middle fingers to a sign. That's something I would do, and as a result, I don't respect it. This place is awesome. It's yeah, it's like totally sign, haunted to get that door. by the specter of the unspent wages of the working class. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Those guys need to get a room. They need to get an octagon, is the real thing. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. Is it Dave Navarro? I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again, I swear. You can trust me. I promise. I really get it now. Do you? What's that? 
You need subtitles? I think we need some subtitles. Subtitles, yes. Oh, there, there's no subtitles for uh, ambient dialogue. Don't worry about it. Ponder. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. We're never really seeing the show. You're just kind of well. standing outside of an old the mill right now. Building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. That is not the way the expression goes. Home is where the heart is. Home is where you hang your hat. Burn, baby, burn. I thought that said bird, baby, bird. Should tell you all you need so to know about my personality. Alrighty. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. We're already in emo territory. I guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Yeah, you just added one more piece after the train section, if you know what I mean. Okay. I know. Upgrade your Estus, sit and rest, uh, you know, use the Lord Vessel, teleport to blah blah, I get the idea. Let's go inside where it is going to be extremely loud. You know, I never thought about the idea of giving my face a pocket. But that would be helpful if I wanted to store like a slice of cheese for later or something like that. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Sup, bro? Hope you miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. The check an ID at the old mill party with the raging bonfire outside? But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scrap. Yeah, you gotta be real mature. You gotta be at least 21 years old to get into our illegal party. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Uh, throw gasoline onto the bonfire. I thought this was six bear traps. Oh, oh, there's a secret door. A second door inside? So close, and yet, so far. This all the best so bands. Hard. Play Let's all the best there. venues. I think this is where Coldplay got their start, actually. What's going on back here? I don't see any squirrels, so I don't see any Stanleys. You got oh, oh, Frank's RV? Brute fest. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Don't insult the mill. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's put some graffiti here for no yeah, reason, I guess. Perfect place for me to This work. seems like a really good way to get killed is just to start defacing someone's personal property. Like, essentially, in broad view, you're one meter away from being completely visible. Not a meth lab or free candy. Let's do free candy. It's Mark Echo's getting up. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, kids. Free candy. Haha, <laughs> they're gonna think that this dude's a pedophile. It's a victimless crime. You're done, bud. That's a BC reference. Okay. Um, there you go. This isn't Broadview, it's Arcadia. I see. I understand, I understand really, and, and it won't ever happen again. I should probably avoid getting on that guy's shit list. Ooh, betting stub. It's LA Noir all over if again. I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Chewer v. Goldie, three to one. Stake a thousand, loss a thousand, five to... Th is this the date, perhaps? And Damon Merrick. Okay. Ambient storytelling. Cover the guy in gasoline? It's not that kind of game. Not in episode one. 
Episode 1 sets the stage. Can we just go home to our loving family and maybe do our trigonometry homework so we can get into a decent school and get off of this trajectory? What happens if the guy in the Oldsmobile needs to leave the party before the guy in the green truck that has the license plate that says Bunny Include? Does he just have to stay? Go home and tell your mom you love her. Do 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 do. Keep walking, kid. Blood sport. Tastes iron, punk. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. All right, so we just need Chloe to pull the lumber car out of the. That was not even on purpose. Man, the song's only 93 minutes long. I've missed almost a third of it already. I'd just like to get in and get to the part where they go, go. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. It's like borderline homophobic. Okay, then we go over to these guys and go, hey. Who bought your bike for you? Your boyfriend? Because that's a very nice and extravagant gift. What does he do for a living? Getting on that guy's shit list. And then they get into a fight, and this guy goes, Hey, break it up, and we sneak in. God. Again? What do you want, kid? Whoa. I like the top option. It's like, it's swear words in a cartoon. Alright, uh... Your bike. Is that your bike over there? Don't say who bought it for you, your boyfriend. Don't, okay, don't, it's too easy, Chloe, don't say it. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Oh, just uh, spontaneously walking by the old mill. Is that Firewalk? Are you kidding? <laughs> what a strange coincidence. You probably just go. All right, so that's his bike. Never mind. I'm not going to yeah, use the swear word option. So here's what you do. We're going to pick up the gasoline. We're going to douse this guy's motorcycle in gasoline. We're going to pick up his bike and throw it into the fire. All right, you know what? We got to yell at him. It's it's the most logical outcome here. God. Again. What do you want, kid? Call your mom. Mom, this guy won't let me inside. Also, I hate you. You started a back talk challenge. It's a back talk challenge. It's a back talk challenge. Do it. Let's do it. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me in. Whoa. In back talk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. This is if. Uh, the first game was Dan Giesling Simulator. This is me simulator. I'm ready for this. Die. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Listen here, you little bitch. I'll grab you by that ring and I'll lead you to the farmer's market where you belong. To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Bedtime. 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 Be Isn't it past your bedtime? Then pick a comeback that reflects their words back at them. Bedtime? No bedtime! No, no, no. It's gotta be your bedtime. Aww. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. Oh, we dominated him. Just by literally reflecting his words back at him. We own this conversation. Real cute, but I still don't know you. I'm not cute, I'm mean. Yeah, I don't do cute. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> oh, come on, Chloe. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Here, playground is a good response to kid. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? 
I can't protect you in there. Yeah, because you got flowers on your bike. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me. If you're under the legal drinking age, by the way, this is how you get into a bar. You have to best the bouncer <laughs> in social engineering. My boss decides who gets in, all right? Why don't you be your own boss? Is your boss your mom? Oh! oh. Do you live in your boss's basement? You We've absolutely you know Jedi mind tricked this guy. Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a oh, motherfucking Chloe. dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're alright, kid. Go on in. Whatever they're paying this dude, it is ten times more than he deserves. Chad, go outside! That's how it works. Ever order from a restaurant? Hey, what would you like to order? Oh, what's your least favorite thing on the menu? <laughs> Good one. I hate the filet mignon. Mm, I'll take 69 of them, please. Don't touch my soul with dirty hands. Wow, there's like dozen of people here. Just follow the lights and the sound. I can't wait to get in there and thrash. They changed to a new song. That dog is fierce. I'm gonna pay. I don't care if it tries to bite me. Deal yet. It's a cute dog. She doesn't usually like people. All right, whatever, Hilliam yeah. W. Macy. Me neither. You all right? Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. You okay? I don't even have any shoes on. Somebody's got to call this poor woman a taxi. Wow, that is an outfit I have not seen in 10 years. Button-up shirt with the graphic tee over top. No, do not take. Okay, is that go. guy selling merch? Right, well, that would help. Wish I had some cash. Hey, are you selling 20 any- 20 bucks. What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive. Well, don't go to teespring.com, then. Dick! He's selling his merchandise for what is honestly a fairly reasonable price. Yeah, no shit. This car. This game takes down. place in the 1920s. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car. Chloe, don't do it. It's gonna right? kill that guy. Oh, Windows is like, hey, you want to do an update? How about tomorrow? Skeevy guys. Hello, Franklin. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Do the update live on stream. Sketch Central. What do you think? You're in a freaking party in an abandoned lumber mill. Though these guys are sketchy. Who would have thought? You talked your way past the bouncer. Sweet You're 15 night. years old. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. These guys are sketchy. At this totally normal party. Oh, obviously. Cold like beer? Free for the taking? Yep. I mean, we have a bar where you can buy drinks, but if you want to just take one for free, you can also do it. By all means. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. Does she have a drink in her hand? No. She is just... You could probably consume perhaps more than one. Could lead to some problems. I don't know. Reminds me of the way I make important... One is acceptable. 
Syringes. No thanks. I try to avoid hepatitis when I can. Edgy, but not that edgy. Fair enough. Classy. That is a pornographic poster. I believe that's visual representation of that woman's pubic hair. Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Is it Guy Fieri on the poster? Yo, Frank! Hey! <laughs> Chloe? He's, he's zonked you out. You, idiot. you bought pot for me every month for a year. Different voice actor. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. The How freakers in there. About this little shindig. Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Stop smoking, Frank. It's gonna ruin your voice. So you come here a lot, or? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to Chad, don't look. The edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the hundred and seventy-five bucks. Come on, dude, that's like eight t-shirts! Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Why don't you just go to a dispensary? How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. I'm not gonna feel bad about asking him to spot me some, because we're like 16 years old. We're already a leech on the system. We're, we're taking like a hundred bucks a day straight out of the taxpayers' pockets just for our, you know, education and transit infrastructure. I'm not gonna feel bad about asking this guy for some free narcotics. Alright, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I'm gonna try to steal a t-shirt. Don't touch me. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. I know, I know. You can pull the brakes. Just give me... Oh, there's a tag. Don't mess with Damon Merrick. Known bookie. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? She goes to a private school? That's a good point. Oh, they're letting us release it now? Get released, son. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Yeah. T-shirts should be $18 maximum. Shit. No, 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 no. Come on. And this guy lived too. Keanu Reeves. Thanks for playing, Dick. <laughs> wow. You are just a terrible person. Sweet victory. Trash the dude's car just to save you thought he was charging like five bucks too much on a t-shirt. Two hundred bucks. You know what? At this point, yeah, this is new NL. Old NL? No. I oh, my moral compass won't let me take the money. This is new NL. Steal the money. Hell yeah. Tom Green is like, why did you <laughs> crash Holy your car shit. into my house? I'm rich. <laughs> I used the stolen money to buy weed. I think I will, new NL. I think I will. Hey, bitch. How, how's 150 sound? She returns. About that weed. Uh, here it comes. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey, what are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act. This is the West Coast. Everybody's yeah. rent is like so 30 times that. No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. Not true. No. I'm not. I'm not. I beat it, Price. Chloe, I'm not. Stop it. See you later. Whatever. 
and then there's a tobacco water pipe over here. <laughs> Nothing sadder than a neglected bomb. Well, that's what you got the goods, Chloe. The time is right. Yeah. Yeah, just to face the property from inside the establishment now. Now trade the weed with the t-shirt guy for a t-shirt. Sniff the weed off of the saw blade. <laughs> That's true. Oh, hey, what's wrong, dude? 300 dock workers laid off. Their pensions canceled. God, Prescott's a real tool. Well, you know, people have been using air transit a lot more lately, Chloe. That's not really fair. The docks are... It's an antiquated business model. Decided to eliminate your position along with the positions of all 307 members of your union. It's a metaphor for the voice actor strike. Furthermore, the foundation is liquidating, liquidating all assets of ABMC, including the Longshoreman's pension, which has been granted as payment against credit owed. Be advised that your employment agreement forbids you from disclosing any company practices or methods of operation, including the details of workforce reduction. That's this guy right here. Sorry, dude. That's totally me in five beers. It's been five beers. Okay, three. Well, I mean, I, I would make fun of her for her tolerance, but I think first off...
like some kind of idiot just trying to enjoy the concert. This is old NL right here. We're back in old NL territory. With the, you know, Magnolia soundtrack in the background. I don't know if I've ever slept in all of my clothes, including my shoes, on top of the sheets. You gave all your money to Frank? That's bullshit. I should have $20 left. $25. Ah, uh, yes, the old wake and smoke, I believe they call it. I believe there was a better name possible, but they chose to go with that one. See it. One seventy five to pay him off and twenty five to buy more. That's fair. At least he didn't charge us usury. Maybe you created half of these problems for yourself. Oh, it's a little dose of reality for you, Chloe. Are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten. Firewalk was the shit. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle! Now you've gone too far. Plus I have a sweet ass black eye as a souvenir. No big deal, but there were these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Oh, it was like literally just insulting Max. Right off the bat, Max the Loser. Dear Max, put your thoughts in me. I don't like that at all. Sure, whatever. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Whoa! Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. Yeah. Girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? Wait, wait, she's not like. She's like cigarettes and beer. She's not Thor. Better change clothes. It's just a, it's a person that goes to your high school. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. Improve the periodic table. I'd like to see you try, Chloe! A team of scientists from the Royal Society labored for a lifetime over it. Now let's see what kind of changes you make. Better living through MJ420. Hell yeah. Turn off that Rilo Kylie. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. Can't help but notice that last How night she last seems to have grown know. facial features. I don't need this. I know who they are. Especially Trevor Yard. He was a huge part of the first game. One of these days, I'm actually going to use you to do my homework. Nice CRT. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Oh shit, if you go, don't look anybody in the eyes. If you look anybody in the eyes, don't look away. If you look away, why would you start listening to my advice now? I, that's, uh, that's probably a quote from a movie I've not seen. Wait. What? Who? What Don't you dare. This is such a bogus link. Nodface.d9. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. I'm not going to read this. It's the deep web. <laughs> 
exactly correct. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. That was so I used that link to buy Bitcoin. Stupid science fair. Now you won the science fair when you were 12. Now you're drawing MJ420 on the periodic table. Khaleesi. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid. But then all the unicorns died. Khaleesi. I will bring the unicorn from Winterfell, Khaleesi. You will ride it with the saber of blazing silver. Well, a rainbow crest behind you. Between the valley of two mountains, Khaleesi. Khaleesi, now what are you doing? No more horns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom don't... Well, in five out. years, this is going to be worth, uh, you know, two million dollars. The house, not the graffiti. We're not Banksy. Everything's worth a shot. But sure, let's deface it. You miss 100% of the shots you don't drink. <laughs> oh! Mmm, Chloe, she's in mid-season form in episode one. They said it couldn't be done. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. <laughs> Max, respect an artist while she goes to art school. What a person whose There's actions are coherent with their beliefs. Were. They were nothing compared to Firelock last night. Elliot. Elliot. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. School's for fools. I never graduated or look at me. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. This is pre-hoverboard era for certain. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Raven? Butterfly or fire you got you just went to the concert. You got to wear the firewalk t-shirt. It's the one you stole This action will have consequences You get a shirt you wear the shirt the next day. That's just the way it goes without my vitamins uh, actually, we call them jelly beans. Haven't you seen Tropic Thunder? Uh, I really should get going. Fun yeah, fact. whatever. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you going to do about that black Chloe? The... Shit. Where's my phone? First off, phone. Secondly, oh, it's not here. cover up that black no, eye. Your mom's going to ask a lot of questions. Hey. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Don't leave yet. Don't you gotta. Oh. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Too real. Well, wait, wait, wait. Drawer. N please, no Book of Mormon. Oh! Yeah, Mom! That enough that Ooh, David my adult him. mother's having safe sex! I should call my phone. I should call my phone. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Look at that mustache, dude. If you think about it, like you try really hard, it looks like that's actually his mouth. And he's going like, Brrr. It's like some invasions of the body snatcher stuff. 
Um, how do you use a telephone? You press, you, you swipe up. You can also just use Find My Device on your PC, not that you ever installed it, because, you know, you don't really seem like the type that's a failure Seems to plan like is a plan is to fail. Nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Mom, one new message. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. We done backtraced it. Elliot. Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. You finished the chemhua? Alright, I'm uh, that's, I don't need to read all these. Hey. 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 What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, sup. What's up? Hey. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard. Scourge of Arcadia Bay. I get it. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. It's not always about you, Chloe. I think this is what it is, you know? I'm new NL at nighttime, old NL in the light of day. New NL doesn't respect authority. Old NL Sometimes wants some breakfast. You have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Ugh. Ugh. No, my mom's trying to get yourself. over my dad a dying. Spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. That's a line straight Bad. out of The Last Jedi. Graffiti. Ha, mom. You're lame. I just replaced my dad with drugs. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Drawer. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. Mom, you can't wear a picture. What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Dad will remember that. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Instead, you should watch your wife have safe intercourse with the security guard from the private school. I made this for mom when I was like, 10 years old. If she wore it now, oh, there we go. I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. <laughs> Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? Dude, hey, the breakfast. Oh, uh, can you grab my cell phone, too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Just toss it out yeah. the window, dude. That really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. On the news, there's going to be a report. A t-shirt was stolen from the Firewalk concert last night in Finally. Arcadia Bay's biggest crime of the year. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. 
All right, we, we stop dilly down. We don't need to read every piece of dialogue here. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. I mean, it is like business as well. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal <laughs> Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Mm, this is me, Chloe Price. I don't understand that running a business with employees and infrastructure and utilities and real estate costs uh, costs money. Why can't everything be free? $20 for a t-shirt? I won't pay a penny over $19.90. Kids, man. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Wow, you are just extremely rude. What you got going on in that slow cooker? It looks like a JPEG of some pot roast. Pot roast? Told you. Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. But it's bacon and eggs. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Bitch. Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. Yeah, the knob was at face height. a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. Completely invalidated her point. Blown out. This is new NL. I'll do better. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. Oh, no, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend That's likes. what we're doing now? Nice things for other people? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Yeah, we get it appraised at the pawn shop, Your then stock. take out an insurance policy on it. How about it. this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. You asked me to get you your purse. Get your yeah, purse. Chloe's in the right for once. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. No comment? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. That was before I discovered really pot. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. I don't want bacon and eggs. I'll just starve. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? <laughs> I'll enjoy that, huh? Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? David wanted to eat her eggs. Mm-hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I would say you've already slipped. But mom... If you're smoking a joint at 7 a.m. before you go to, you know, 11th grade gym class. what you're doing, fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. 
Money's tight enough as it is. Um, I, I mean, I don't like either of these options. To be honest with you. <laughs> uh, sure, maybe David could help. Maybe David should start paying uh, I didn't know it was sarcastic. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Okay, you don't need to bring David into this. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father. <laughs> Mom got owned again. I brought up her dead husband. Sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts. Get wrecked. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. I hope Very you're funny. in a 20 foot truck. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank God, you. God, what an asshole serious? driving me to school. This is such what, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Be understanding. It's it's old NL in the morning, new NL in the sheets. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. What do you mean self-sufficient? Get you. Tell that to the world. You just you literally know. made her breakfast and she said yeah. no. I love you too. D oh, you got someone else driving you to school. You got a scholarship that's You'll paid for. I don't even know by who. What do you mean self-sufficient? Unless he tries to give me advice or looks at me funny, Chloe, or looks at me at all, Chloe. Mom, have a good day. You too. <laughs> Bringing David his keys. Wished her a good day, but I didn't really mean it. Thing Mom could ask me to do. Got anything? I remember this is a pivotal moment from the first game. Mom doesn't want me to know. But it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Oh, he's gonna drive us to school and get a job. That's what it's like being in the West Coast in the 2000s, dude. You're just driving around and people are like, Excuse me, sir! Would you like a job? Can't leave the house without getting offered a job these days. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Uh, what about the letter on your report card? F. <laughs> See, I can roast too. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? <laughs> Family pic used to hang here. I. Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Something to do with time travel, blah, blah, I don't know. <laughs> World's worst daughter. Science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Yep, and then uh, flat screens went extinct, as we all know. So, give We're up on that dream. supporting one. Thanks. Jeez, David, I'm sorry, like, Al-Qaeda shot at you or whatever, but do you have to leave these buttons all over the place? Window, yeah. You got, you all, it's Rainbow Six, you always gotta peek before you go out. I actually have to let this jack-off drive me to school. This is my life now. Kill me. 
Ugh. I have to spend six minutes in the car with the dude who's gonna be my dad. Oh, crap. Forgot David's keys. Fuse the window. It's <laughs> probably worth at least ten push-ups. Mom, where's the keys? I wasn't listening to the conversation. I was riffing. I was riffing. Open. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. All right, well, I mean, I understand the issue. Oh, keys. From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom it's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me. Keys. So here they are. In the ashtray. There's no way anyone can respect David after the dark room scene at the end of the first life is strange. This is extremely true. After we rewound time a hundred times so that David could beat up a man with no military experience, like 80% as large as him, with a gun while the other dude did not have a gun. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. It better get going. It'd be so much better if David were actually Michael Fassbender's David. Oh, we just, sorry, we have a text message. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich, Newt's daughter. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. It's about how Hillary Clinton planned 9-11. Thanks, Steph. Okay, see ya. Um, leave. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> Look at that flat top, dude! It's so flat! It's some Kylo Ren pants. Okay. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Don't, Chloe, don't get down on the ground and do push ups. Is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. New voice. That's sweet. When I was your age, when I, I was your age, I got into my share of scraps, but it's, it's not, not responsible. responsible. You owe it you to your mother to, your mother to, to do, do better. better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. It's me, hardened military veteran David Wells. Cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Do you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage. We can get moving. This is <laughs> it's Kip Dynamite. Go grab my socket yeah, wrench from the garage so we can get going. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> Actually, that's a car. And we haven't met Warren yet. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? We were going to convert that garage into an Airbnb suite and destroy the rental market. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. It's actually the funniest thing she said. <laughs> just the image of a, someone's car being on fire and then trying to extinguish it with an extinguisher full of gasoline is somehow hilarious. Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. What a bitch. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Oh, this is the photo of the time my dad, the Animorph, was halfway between human form and ferret form. Mom was feeding him a giant marshmallow on their wedding day. <laughs> he was so cute when he transformed. 
Oh, it's, this is re footage from the wedding of uh, Cersei Lannister and Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance. I remember that episode of Game of Thrones. This is from the first YouTube Rewind where Jenna Marbles and the guy from Smosh pretended to get married. They were eating hard-boiled eggs. I remember that. David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Why is everyone in the house always trying to do chores and shit? It's so Dad's lame. Toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Uh, busted made him feel good, yeah. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. You do have the keys already, is the thing, so I don't know if you need to hot wire it, so to speak, but. Woe be it for me to get in your way, Chloe. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. It's about a hundred-zero chance you just Maybe hand him the wrench like a bitch, let him fix the car so he can drive you to the school. It's probably paid for by the freaking taxpayer. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <laughs> She's got attitude. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pot. No shit. Hey, you wasting enough water there, neighbors? If you lost got the two fountains from the Bellagio repurposed to sprinkle your sixteen square foot yard. I know she goes to a private school, but she has a scholarship. Where's the scholarship coming from? Is new NL or wait? It's morning. It's old NL. Except fist bump. Absolutely. Fine. Whatever. Boom. Say boom. Explode your hand like a grenade. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. Uh, I thought that was, uh, your car was called the toolbox. Thanks. <laughs> Every time he fist bumps, his pants move up one centimeter. Jizzy Walls? <laughs> Is that his license plate? <laughs> Jizzy Walls? Ready to roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. <laughs> we don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Oh, no. Ignore and endure. Anytime I get the opportunity to get in a shouting match, I'm going to definitely do it. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. <laughs> 10 out of 10 as usual. Way out of line, young lady. Language? Ooh, well, I mean, I guess we want... French is a language. Jim Appel don't give a shit. Absolutely obliterated. Gosh, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Nothing! Hey, it's one your... syllable. I can crap. Yeah, you must have crapped on your head. You're the crap. I thought I smelled crap, yeah. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. Um, I I I didn't enlist. I don't remember enlisting, so don't. Treat Look at me. Galaxy Brain. If you were a man, I. It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Wow. Don't know what. 
why I bother trying. Chloe has been arguing on Reddit since she was a wee lass. You cannot dominate her in an exchange of ad hominem attacks on your hair, your manhood, your haircut. Did I mention the hair? Country music. I'd love this song. I just can't tell you that I miss you. Why does she sit in the back seat? Is he her chauffeur instead of her father? What a beautiful day. It is definitely not a dream, it's just a normal situation. We're driving into the center of the sun as it goes supernova on our Kitty Bay. Thanks, Max Fox Seattle. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Safety laws? She can't sit in the front seat because of safety laws? This... this isn't right. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. I just love if her arm got sheared off by like a fence post that we were driving past. Just be a nice tonal shift, and then she wakes up and goes, oh my god. Who, who would have thought? Whole Price family's got an issue with trains, huh? Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to, like, make things too real. Hey. But how do you get hit by a train by accident? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. It's, like, the slowest, loudest form of transportation. You know what? Thank you, David. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Sir, would you like a job? Hello, Black Hell. Black Hell School, not for fools. Harboring a serial killer drew Black Hell School. Good luck, seniors. Cause us yous are coming for your ass. We're gonna take your jobs now that you've pilfered social security. Hey! Elliot. Oh. Hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. No, Except seriously. Two, he is concussed. Of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Think actually yeah. that's Shakespeare, so, but I might be mistaken. Be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But oh no, I might experience some culture. Kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. Elliot trying so desperately to be counterculture to appeal to his crush. Ten years from now, this dude is like junior partner, chartered accountant at the largest firm in Arcadia Bay. Guaranteed. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Uh, that's a cool mechanic. I'm okay with that. 
I mean, it's not like she has a cellular telephone or anything. Just write it on your hand like some kind of idiot, but sure. Drugs. They will mess you up. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place? Is it Queen Amidala? Medical assistance. Meh. Well, at least not for now. Perhaps we will see Warren. Is Warren playing, uh... What's the name of the dude? You know the one I'm talking about from The Tempest. He's the guy, Cal something. He walks around and goes, Hey, I'm the... I'm messing things up for everybody. Maybe this play won't suck. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe. Caliban! That's it. Hey, old David. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks, Samwa. Does this guy have to die so that David may take his place? Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. That ass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait, you went to the mill last night? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. Just getting a little too I'm familiar plan, with no the really? uh, school populace. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there. I get that the security guard, he seems like he's like 23 or something like that, but it's just a little inappropriate. Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, get, I'll take your demo. Yeah, Tape okay. old NL. Great. This is uh, royalty-free music from a video game released on Steam that has four reviews. What do you do in this situation where somebody plays a song for you? Are you supposed to like groove to it or like be like, oh, that's pretty good. I just want this to be as awkward as possible. All right, I mean, you got something going on. You're a little black keys or something like this. Could be an MLB 19, the show. I mean, it wouldn't be one of the premier tracks, but they could play this in the options menu or something. So, what did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. I remember Mrs. Grant. Is she about to die? Why is she sitting on the bench looking at the sunset forlornly? Sunrise, Ms. I guess. Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Yeah, wish she'd stop caring about the youth and doing her job and all that. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Mm, I would say that's a no hypothesis. I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. <laughs> manganese? You're Sorry, I don't like ethnic food. Overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well... The Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. It's like the exact opposite. Money should be spent in the arts of the normal it's not situation. That exactly. 
I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Maybe Such it's because you talk like a robot. Miss Grant, Go to Toastmasters, Miss Grant. You gotta make a more compelling case. You sound like Yoda run through Google Translate. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Hmm. <laughs> Luminous beings are we, not this crude matter. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's... I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each their own. Oh no, I've got a photography final this week. I better eat a 3,000 calorie breakfast so I got the energy for my photography final. But fire's so pretty. Real edgy. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Say no to drugs. Winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. That's fucking Hulk Hogan, dude! This is Terry Bolia. The Hulkster. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> Don't do drugs, brother! What is go? Oh, we could. Can we write graffiti on the Tempest backboard and embarrass somebody? The world just lost probably be getting to class. Another Hulkamaniac. I don't care. Alright, we don't need this. We've had too many pensive moments already. Do not walk on the stage. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana hey, Chloe. With a bag of expulsion in your pocket. Wouldn't happen to have any alcohol on you? Is that a black eye? I'm. Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. Shut up, we Dick! Are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space from me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you, Miss Price? The sign clearly says, do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. You look hungover. I've seen you with one expression. That's the She's one. She's right. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. <laughs> and yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. It's the Shit. West Coast, dude. Do I have to We've all recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. To the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price. Mm, if my olfactory motivations are not That's deceiving me, would I need to get I an obligate authority to investigate the conundrum of our discontent? How does that sound? Would you start talking like a normal human being, you weird man? Oh. <laughs> Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? <laughs> My programming does not have a contingency plan for this. Oh, my well is deep, dude. Sir, my well of witticisms runs so deep that you would get trapped at the bottom and never make it out. Yeah, like that girl in the ring. Jokes 
in my experience, that's how the humor makes me suspicious. Clearly, you haven't studied the wake and bake clause. Oh, we we messed it up. <laughs> All stinky herbs shall be smoked before entering school premises. That was not a good choice. So you are admitting to having consumed marijuana this morning. Maybe. Or maybe I want to see if you have what it takes to make me pee into a cup. Seriously, I really do. That's quite enough. I do not need to search you, Miss Price. Your words alone have convinced me of your guilt. You will meet me in my <laughs> office after school for a formal reprimand. Meet me at 3.30 after I get a lubricant bath. Beep Just... boop. Great. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. The edge just never stops, dude. Need my the future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Oh, she got it again. Hey, bitch, Toria. Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. What's wrong with you, Freddie Lowndes? It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Raymond? Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment and... Mm, I have to write a, a poem based on the acids. And Johnny was a chemist, but Johnny was no more. What Johnny thought was H2S was H2SO4. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was... Fluorine, uranium, carbon, Fuck. potassium, and Poo. Uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. I actually thought he was shooting up. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe Fluorine, you. uranium, potassium, Check. chlorine, uranium. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Alright, guess I'll see you in class. Word. Uh, 
Oh, this guy. Uh, you, I would like to look at your photographs, Evan. You can't handle my photographs, Chloe. My photographs are too much for even Richard Avedon! Your puny brain could not handle my photographs. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good I'd morning. like to talk to you Evan. about your hat. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90 You look like fires a K-pop singer, but that's not one that's in a boy band, if you know what I mean. Wildfires are awesome. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. I told you. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? I really don't care that much. Doing nothing? Is just as what? Bad. Why are we looking He's straight at his chest? I don't know. Pretty under... sure that's not true. Easiest choice of my life. D and D team, Mikey, Mikey, I'm Steph and Mikey normally post telling you this is a friend. You can't sit like that. We're we're trying to signal that we're entering our adult years. You can't sit like that. This isn't a preacher bench, you know. It's just a strange way to sit. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Driver. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. We wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. I love Monopoly. Cool. Got my DVD? This guy is Bob Balaban. One Blade Runner. Director's cut. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hmm, I see we're among intellectuals here. Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet. Mm, D A E. Decker is a replicant. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber. You're asking me. Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yes. Yeah. I don't have 50 Oh no, hours Chloe's right me. Now. Fuck. So. The moment of realization. Game, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird. Kind of reminds me of someone. Also a barbarian, so like, really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid It's a lot of exposition for being 20 minutes away from the end. Black well, alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their war. Is this an intellectual game? Is this actually going to be like episode one of Stranger Things season one, where this whole campaign is an allegory for what happens later on throughout the season? From the opposite direction. I raise my cool staff story, bro. Greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averna. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia. Calamastia. They're like, oh my god, Super she's doing it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. 
Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaroth, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once made a man kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. Actually, David is the Dur dude. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Let's get the loot first. Where do you wish to go? I want the loot. Training ground. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Oh, we have to roll for initiative first? Overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell. Mm, as like the manganese flesh food. melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Pommel Strike is a great card in uh, in Slay the Spire. I think we'll hit him with a Fatal Cleave, though. It sounds the coolest. Okay, let's end this. Fatal Cleave. Hmm, 20. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! Top cut I'm hot awesome dog bun? This game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. Didn't even have to use the back talk What's challenge. Next? I go to the prison it's time camp. To free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing. He's new ages, Warren. Each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're it's asking. not about sex. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face. Hey, Tomo. Get out of there. The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Oh, we get to yell at the dragon. It's Timothy. perfect. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't I cast communication. Let's go, new Warren. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragon king guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is Almost just knocking everything on the desk over. Into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh... 
He doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron much taller and meaner than you. Hmm. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Galaxy then brain. Then you'd be way taller. The dragon can. Tomo, relax, buddy. You, you don't need to right. rub your head on he everything on my his desk. Jaws and you think he's about to yell for help? I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following: This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Oh, Chloe, you're really dominating a lot of the conversation right now. Uh, it's not good for the group dynamic. Wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Warlord's Tent. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at Nice his high heels, Durgaron. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur. Did a Samoan bouncer buy them for you? Cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. <laughs> Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Way to go, Warren! You know, acid blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Annihilation Strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? That's well, actually a lowercase you l. It means you take your first lots step, of damage. You trip on a rock. Collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Rewind and roll the dice. J jump in front of Elamon. Or we could dance like it's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I, uh, I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You dance to distract him. Dance I off, don't. bro. 16? What? What? Your crappy arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgaron. He pauses with his sword in midair for 10 seconds. Buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade. 
lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Save your sorries, Elamon. I chopped your feet off. Where you My character I was really attached to has just died. Away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. Yeah, Durgeron needs to be nerfed. What do you do? Dude, swing for his arm. Chop it off while it's still inside. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one the <laughs> Durgeron will remember that. Thingy. Oh. Brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. Oh. Yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked shot. Durgeron's heart was contained within his arm. His bracer of fire immunity clings to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. Is there everything wrong with millennials? That was fun. Oh, my character died. I'm sad. Shut up, mom. Monkey's got serious drawing skills. Amazing. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. It's kind of a cool vignette, to be honest. Thanks for the game, nerds. I'm for it. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. It was nice of them Enjoy. to wait for me. Who are you? Samantha? Where's Carrie? Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I, I asked you first. I last year in Mrs. Hoyta's English class. Mrs. Hoyta! I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally, I don't. But the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. You might be slow, but watch you go. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... This is the, uh, this game's version Sorry, of Kate from Life is Strange. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. Some baller bowling yeah. shoes, though. I'm ready. Take me to chemistry. Good seniors. Nathan Prescott. What have you got here? Twitch? Excuse what? me? Call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. Why are you so doing the world's slowest moonwalk? I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Is this guy is Rainbow Six Siege, dude? Whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. Well, my he is being threatened right now. The shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Yeah. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're Don't you dare. Of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! St oh, it, I will always take a back talk challenge. I've got to put Drew down. Well, you don't have to kill him. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me?
idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. Yeah, wait, wait That's a minute. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. A piece of cake. <laughs> Fellow meatbag. Did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? For Nathan, you? this was your chance for a slight redemption. Are you alright? Thanks, by the way. Pisshead for your help here. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> yeah, nothing to worry about, DJ Qualls. No wonder this dude gets fired. Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Not at all true. Love you. Text her back! Marijuana cigarettes kill. What are oh, you good. wearing? You're here. Is it Halloween? I do not understand. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh. We got Miranda, Samantha, they called Chloe Carey. We just need a Charlotte and then we got the whole Sex in the City gang. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard and many a time have listened to... Many a time the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner. Apologize to William apologize. Shakespeare. And to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. This is Keaton, the new Mr. Jefferson. Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. She's got one heck this of a bulge. This is getting as surreal as last night. Oh, my good, gosh. Very cool. Exquisite Rachel as always. Mr. Keaton? The I'm voice actor strike was the worst thing to happen to this game. Most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. I have to go to chemistry class. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? It's inexperience because The Tempest is one of Shakespeare's great comedies. It's all about irony. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. That's the, I mean, that's not what I said, Chloe, but sure. Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive, is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Pepe! Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Oh, uh, yes, I remember freshman improv classes at my high school. Luge lessons in Rangoon. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh... What? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. 
Okay, so why am I here again? You're being late for oh, chemistry class and ruining really your academic career. I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Whoa. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. Should be do Excuse me, miss, I need to search your bag. Yeah, there it is, one belt. Rachel looks so happy here. Hey, kiddo, why the long face? Something's not right about this guy. Her dad is a Chad. Absolutely true. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Hey now. Sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Most of them are... <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Nathan Prescott playing Caliban! Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports photography and casual hangouts with his many friends. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters, fundraising, local history, and nature. Like, so many sophomores, you can't shake a stick without a sophomore that's interested in the local history of their small town. A sophomore. His other interests include playing sports, herbals, and taking long walks in the woods. Anyway, I've read enough uh, orchestra pamphlets in my day to know how the rest of this goes. Herbals! Shakespeare is my homeboy. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Yeah, you could play the ship that gets wrecked in the first act. It's been a long time since I read The Tempest, to be honest with you. One light from yonder window breaks. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Dana, you are very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I would be into that. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Pick a Thank belt, you. any belt. Is this your belt? <laughs> Oops! I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? It's a rehearsal. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I, I thought, why? why I don't understand. She's like a... Like an android or something. What do you mean it never has to end? It's a concert. It's over. It had. It already ended. It's not deep. Is that a rhetorical question? Are you offering me like How some kind of virtual reality, on a little field trip? alternative life or something? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? No, we need to use it to intimidate people. This is a badge of honor. 
Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. Another productive day in school for Chloe Price. Playing D&D, &D, breaking up a fight, and delivering a belt to somebody who's able-bodied and could do it herself. Sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? We're going to Mexico! Unity. North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. It looks like we're going to Italy. All this stuff is for G. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. What if you sneeze, though? You're going to get sucked under the tracks. Hey, why were you in chem? Everything okay? Yup. What happened with Drew? People were saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Well, you don't have time to text? You're on the world's slowest mode of transportation. A freight train. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Shoot me in the head. All my idols are dead. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. Time travel. Get it? I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. It's a reference to Nuclear Throne. Unity's the engine used to make the game. I think it's UML. Things heavier than it looks. Does Guess it look it like it weighs down. no pounds? She's kicked it like a soccer ball. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. You're on a freaking Rachel. train with Rachel freaking Amber. Oh, don't muck it up. Uh, what's your favorite manga? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. It's one of the dead Should body crates from PUBG. Talk? Is that what people do? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird. That we're hanging out. You instigated it. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. It's but actually like the way Rachel talks to us is like she's nice. already she's dead, like but she's like come back as a ghost after. and she knows the future. That sucks. You have friends, Chloe. We met two days ago. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't oh, yeah? stuff with me. What's your success you ratio in the back talk challenge? <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, I am also shit. a nerd. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. That's Who's your I favorite care. Jedi? Mine's Luke Skytracer. Well, I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. If you're a real nerd, uh, which galaxy is Ord Mantell in? Um. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun. Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Only thing mysterious is Let's what you guys are going to do after high school when you don't have your GED. 
V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Wow. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. It's kind of like Fibbage. The loser gets pushed out of the train. I'll start. When we go over the First, gorge. I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Yeah, you're 15. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? The mill. Kathmandu? One yeah, you'd really fit in in Nepal. I'm going to climb Everest. All the people in Nepal are like, we need a bratty teenage girl to really relate to us. My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. So, ambidextrous. The third one is a lie because she had to think of it. Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh. Like Artemis. But from the start I'm of this, I was telling the truth. Seriously? Hear me roar. Don't do it. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there, though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. C O M P T O N and the city they call Long Beach. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. Be careful, the gorge is coming right up. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Truth. I used to want to be a pirate. Most interesting up. truth about myself? I wanted I to be do. a pirate when I Arr. grow up. I'm going to put the lie at the end. We're going to backload it. I love science. That's why I skipped chemistry class. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse. No, Chloe. Huh? Yeah, like I retweet him all the time. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all. Oh, guitar this band you're laying it on, laying it on way too thick. Impressive. She's gonna know. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Epic meme, Chloe. Don't like come on said. too strong. Arr. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? Well... <laughs> Sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. I told you, we made it too easy. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. 
As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, the Misfits. I'm gonna have to call Lie on that one. There's no way you'd ever be a groupie. Okay, that's fair. Backup dancer with vocals. Obviously. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Fitty, too. You'd look hot on stage. Not as hot as you would, so, Rachel. If my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy Rachel at this game. Rachel Trump? A lifetime of studying the human condition. Yep. Well, Malcolm Gladwell says it takes 10 years of practice to become a master at something, so she's halfway there. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. Sadly, the gorge is right here, Chloe. You knew the rules. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Uh, the district attorney's Our a prosecutor, first. Chloe. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? My dad's such I'm a dick, he rose game. to the top of his field. Like an asshole. Wanting to be a pirate. Unlike you, you want to be a pirate, I which is hella cool. So cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. Mm. You've opened up a lot. It's I love the taste of liquor. It's not a big deal. Rum is so delicious. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. And now? I'm listening to some music. Yeah, just pop some headphones in. That won't be weird. Hey, want to listen? It's this great new band called Pisshead. Their demo tape just came out. I love post-rock. It really appeals to my teenage ethos. Alright, that's a, it's a, it's a 10 second song. They're called the Diarrhea Boys. They do like a little slint cover band post-rock uh, math core. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. There's also Long Beach. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Palm Beach, Myrtle Beach. Or anywhere but here. Not Wreck Beach. Maybe sooner than I do. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Oh, sometimes. I too true, Chloe. To stay. A gentle lady and a scholar. If one day, I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. We're here. The gorge. What? Time to die. He's here. Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! It's the glass factory! <laughs> this is where they dump out the sharps disposals from the movie theater. I shoot some insulin up here just to get high. He'll come back. He said he'd wait for me. It's been 63 years.
School sucks. You know what's awesome? This park bench. Is a Final Fantasy XIV character? Hey, <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Is it Lineage 2? Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is what I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. It's highly unrealistic. Nobody carries change these days. Whoa! Easy hands off the merchandise, sister! Last known repair shop for these things closed down 74 years ago. Well... Yeah, it looks like the lenses don't work anymore. They got a half-life of 15,000 years. You... Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Oh, hold up. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother's not always an asshole. Just most of the time? Forget it. Oh. <laughs> really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. What if this one just works? Looks like this one might actually be working. Okay. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Damn, that's an old tree. Don't care. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Your butt is butt rot. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. She's so uh, lame. No. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Chloe Price. Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, uranium? You think I don't know the periodic table that spells, it spells fuck you? I got in trouble for it. You carbon, uranium, nitrogen, tin? You just called me a cunzen. Huh? Tin is SN. Fuck you, bitch, you're so dead. Wow, we just owned her with grammar. We're so smart. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. She's a real see you next Saturday night. You got anything else? Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Okay, that's fine. We got we got other stuff here. We got other stuff. Pick, pick up a big rock, just bash it. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. <laughs> Founders keepers, I guess. Mm, don't cut yourself on that edge. Somebody carved in initials here. Yuck. 
cliche much, AW and BW? Hopefully they're not related. Toke, Mary Jane, forever. TK plus MJ. Bigger prior majigger. Oh, squirrels. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. I don't. I refuse to scare the squirrels. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. I'll put it back. In every single one of these games, animals are like pure. If you kill them or scare them, it comes back to you tenfold. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> hey, heads up. Wells is on the warpath. And when he finish, it's gonna be a bloodbath. Of Chloe's dying in Arcadia Bay. Fudge you, I got something to say. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know playing with you really meant a lot. Yeah, I'll get back to that text later. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. First got power, activate. Yeah, just toss it on the ground like a piece of garbage. To face a dead man's memory all for 25 cents. So you can impress a ghost. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. You gotta turn the thing. Oh, well, it's up to you, I guess. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Is she, Is she in right now too? I really should have showered this morning. You, it's all right. Everyone's already established you smell like marijuana. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying. Sniff, and sniff. Thinking. <laughs> That's it. I do that in my head during like every class. See, you're a natural. Let's give it a try. How's your depth perception on this? Grill on stream! They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. All right, let's see. After this, I want to come home and listen to my Spotify playlist. Is it the kind of listening where you have to get under the covers to really appreciate the music? Yes, and clothes really mess with the acoustics, so. <laughs> <laughs> they love each other and like music. Fucking idiots. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Grill dead! Hmm. What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now. Lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Better. Wow. That was dark. That was a better bit. Too dark. You guys must Perfect have gotten dark. a B plus in freshman year improv class. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I really want to hear the line read for stay away bees, but I was hoping they'd make a quip about his sleeveless sweater. I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. 
<laughs> this is fun. Who's next? His actual line of reasoning? Why doesn't my son oh, call me? Sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Is that... Mom? <laughs> Jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn. They are really His good eyes are it. open. Just wanna see fluid exchange. Just wanna see fluid exchange. Oh, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. Was that a Christopher Walken Rachel? impression? Honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Oh, I get it, Rachel Amber. When we make fun of the gay couple, it's all fun and games. We make fun of a straight couple, and all of a sudden, you get offended. I'm starting to see that maybe you're not the person I thought you were. I thought we were both on the same page here. And instead, I'm finding out that this has all been some kind of political recruitment into some unsavory organization in Arcadia Bay. That being said, I'm in. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. Maybe that was her dad, the district attorney? Why would he be meeting a prostitute in the forest, is all I ask there. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, I'm thinking okay. about that cheese. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. Let's light the forest on fire. Try to keep up. I'm breaking all the rules today. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Take the cheese. Better act fast. Hey, Tomo. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. But we'll keep watch while you go. Listen, here you dumb bitch. You gonna watch her die because you suck? Look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Come on. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Are we being punked? Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Okay, fine. We've done it. I'm going. But when the police show up, I hope they don't arrest you. Arrest us? Good Samaritan law. Ever heard of it? It's from Seinfeld. It means you have to do everything in your power to help someone in trouble. Everything. God damn it. I'm going in. I made an oath to my wife, but I just hope God can forgive me. Oh, all those men's health tutorials didn't prepare me for this. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart, 
Thank you. Yeah. Good work, everyone. Peace out. The perfect that was crime. Incredible. You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. All right, one shot of wine each. Here. You are miss. Merlot. Thanks. <laughs> Could use a drink after uh, 2017, good you. year. I am excessively sober right now. I thought you were an honor student. Right. Takes like 10 minutes to hit okay. the bloodstream. Guess we're leaving now. Could go wrong. School sucks. Want to get half drunk and walk on the train tracks in the middle of nowhere? The magic of being a teenager. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? As the sun comes down, new NL comes out. It's true. We're almost at the birth of new NL. Hey, Chloe, I got a great idea. What if we just put, like, six beer bottles around here for some unknown purpose? This would be an awesome place to die. Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Still got about uh, 80 or 90 glugs of wine left in this endless bar. bottle. What's her deal? I'm not looking around the damn junkyard again, so I'll have an uncomfortable conversation instead. I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? You know that okay. guy that we saw? I thought I was his mistress, Actually, okay? No. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! We went through a lot for that wine. Okay. Also, I she should try out no for the baseball what's going team. On with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. She's got a heck of an arm I can on her. Work with that. Score. Are you gonna kill her? That'd be a heck of a twist. Give her a show. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! That was terrible. I see. Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Whoa! Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little mm, Victoria -E chases daddy. kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. 
Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. I already Rachel, made this joke. Wait! Don't go. At least bring me back my baseball bat. Why not? It's most of because, all I hate the way I don't hate this, you. The way I not even a little. Else in my life. Not even at all. And what is this exactly? This is a pointer that refers to the current object. I mean, fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? You know, like a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Is there a mod for this game that replaces all the, the soulful music that adds to the mood? Come on. With like ACDC? Like, can you just imagine right now? Chloe, I... Oh, wow, 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 thunder! Oh, wow, wow, wow. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and... You! I'm Shook me! <laughs> I can't do the voice that. even at all. It's just hard right Ding, now. ding, dee, dee, ding, dee, 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 ding. I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair. But it's how it is. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Goodbye, Chloe. A head between the sheets. It only brings the exasperation. It's time to walk the streets. Smell the desperation. At least there's pretty lights. Although there's little variation. Fuck. It nullifies the night. Oh, here we go. Smash, smash. That bottle. It's a, the barrel is the real MVP. Your school called, I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe, can you just text it all in one go, please? Chloe! Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay, okay? Okay, 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 okay. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Simone? From the Al Pacino Fuck movie? Off, Rachel. Ex Machina? Yeah, we're making the garbage even more garbagey. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. Careful, I mean, fuck cameras, fuck Seattle. You're really starting to limit your options here. It's a metaphor! If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Hammer throw. Fuck you, David. Wow, that was... Those tools are all still in pristine condition. Spot on my rage, I'm still just a red in a cage. Free tools, my dude. Don't drop the bat. Oh, she's discovered something. Dad. Yeah. 
That's not your dad, that's a car. Looks like a Volvo. Cartha? Chloe. It's me, your father. Don't smash me, please. My spirit has been transmorgified into the car, and I'm- No! Oh, Chloe! As long as you don't do it, Chloe! Haven't you ever seen Jack Frost? You're right, Chad. She really should have used the bat if she was going to try to smash a car. It's a valid point. And that's why you go to class! Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? Dad, open container laws. I don't feel drunk. Kiddo, look on the bright side. Have you ever had a dream that I... you wanted him to drive you so bad side. you could do anything? You made a new friend today. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> Dad, don't be weird. She nearly took your head off. There she is again. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. What's past is prologue and shit. Sometimes people need you. I mean, maybe it's too little too late, but could you keep your eyes on the road? Even when they don't admit His hair is like knitted. Get out of my dream. Get into my... Stay out of my car. Rachel. Flame on. Yeah, this is the dead of night. It's full on new NL time.
New NL doesn't text his mom back. Should have opted for the side airbags, Dad. That's too far. Just a brief glimpse of new NL? Are we gonna get a dot 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 it's the morning time now? Snatcher. You follow the birds, it'll lead you to land. Told you. Oh, Rachel didn't go home either. It's nice that we got all this time to hang out. You came. I'm glad. Hey, I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk with to you With your about feet something. on the end, I, your head on the ground. I don't know how to talk about this. Try this trick and spin it, yeah. You don't have to tell me anything your head will you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. It's nice. And I haven't met your parents yet. Oh, I... Definitely not that's my a mom. problem. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... Well, he is an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> so when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Hey Chloe, uh wanna help me catch my dad's having an affair? I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my what about dad his regular died, face? I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's a signed it's headshot not. of Breck and Meyer, the lead from the 2002 film Road Trip. And I fell and broke my and legs yeah. from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and he was just so strong you know I, I felt safe no one's safe you trusted him completely here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. You're not gonna fold the photo into like an origami middle finger or something? Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome and 
You have Nobody's ever felt like this before. I feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? The guy you doing his job? Away, right past him. You saw that? Remember that dude you, you hid in the face with the bottle? Who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Remember the chemistry Maybe teacher you lied to? Showed up at the last minute, and what about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan, you got. Remember right when you emasculated face. the guy who was going to be your stepdad because out. he had the audacity to do yeah, you a favor? Pretty sweet, actually. See, you're the real thing, Chloe. Remember when your mom made you breakfast and you told her to screw off? I don't know anyone. Betrayed her trust. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. It's the West Coast. And they'll just give you life in jail. Will definitely punish me with. Fuck your dad. You got blackmail material. He can't punish you. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. It's a death trap. It's a suicide trap. You gotta get out while we're young. There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Well, we can't go to Seattle. Because I said fuck Seattle. Portland's too close to be adventurous. Where to, Boise? Can I borrow your lighter? Can you lend me a jar of love? Thank you. Hurting hearts need some healing. Take your hand with my glove of love. They're not, they can't live in Vancouver. They'd never get past the border. Starting tomorrow is a... Officials are warning you not to burn photos of your loved ones in a garbage can in the woods. Forest fires continue to rage down the west coast today. And it's not just a metaphor. People are dying. No! You mad woman! God damn it. Rachel! <laughs> this forest has sat here for 400 years! You literally just lit the forest on fire! It does kind of seem to imply that she's summoning some kind of power with her scream. Yo, okay, so, I mean, I don't know if that's the ending. It might not be the ending of this section, but, uh... You undermine our sympathy for the main characters when they light the forest on fire. It's just... I'm not trying to tell them how to do their job. I've enjoyed my time with episode one. Both in a sort of, like... Mystery Science Theater 3000 sort of way, and it's an interesting story, but it is hard to feel sympathy for the main characters in this situation when they they lit the forest on fire. You already burned the photo. Did you have to kick the trash can?
He's actually cool. What was I? I was doing lawyery stuff. You wouldn't understand. Would... Now that's just stupid. I get it. Cause, you know, she's enjoying watching the world burn. You know, she's the she's the tempting serpent or something. Literally hundreds of millions, billions of dollars in economic damage. Nature destroyed all because of your... your I mean, I don't want to call it petty necessarily, but an unnecessary outburst of emotion. You attacked 64%. You were kind... 37% that were mean to Joyce... Just sit yourselves, okay? That's not okay. More people defended Nathan Prescott. For anyone who's seen the, uh, played the first game, you were being very silly. Nathan is still, I mean, he's troubled, admittedly, but he's got problems. You know, he's an asshole. 86% defended him. That's more than we're kind to our mother, who is like the most innocent character in the game. You told Rachel you're more than just friends. That seems fair. Friend stats. Anybody else play this? Okay. My friends are meaner than average, but with a small sample size. I defended Nathan, but I was also kind to my mother. That's the thing. We took the money. We purchased pot. Oh, come on. Save me. You read Joyce's self-help book, put the photo out. You didn't slip money into Joyce's purse. That makes sense because we didn't know that we could because I spent all our money on drugs. I told Ellie you'd go to the play. I told Skip you liked this demo. Only 1% of people... This actually restores a lot of faith in my humanity. Only 1% of people needlessly broke Skip's heart. 99% of people were nice when there were literally no consequences to either being nice or bad. Only 1% of people, this is like, data mine this 1%, these are the sociopaths who just want to see, you know, what happens when they toy with other people's emotions. You finish the tabletop game. Oh, it's so holier than thou. You didn't sabotage Victoria's homework. You told Rachel falling in love is stupid. Well, no, I didn't. Uh, here's another one. 2% of people didn't share ear earbuds with Rachel. That's very strange. These 2% of people, hey, want to skip school with me? Yeah, I'm just going to go listen to music by myself. And then this should scare you that 94% of the people jumped out of the train. It's because they played video games before. I understand. They know that they're not going to be like, you died. But uh, only 6% of people were like, I'm not jumping out of this fucking train. This is a smart 6% right here. You guys are, you got good heads on your shoulders. You're going to make great adults. The other 6% got pushed into the gorge. Shit. It's the Demogorgon. No one steals from me. It's the graphic T-Man. I want my fucking money. That's it, huh? No, this isn't Netflix. We don't need to do this. Next episode starting in seven seconds. After credits scene. Well, it's pretty much a, a fitting time to end the show today. I'm really glad I did the tabletop game. It was fun, and it took us also to, like, the perfect uh, amount of time here. All that over 20 bucks? Excuse me. It was, uh... A hundred and seventy-five dollars? It was two hundred dollars that we stole from him. That's ten t-shirts. Yeah, Happy New Year, uh, people eight hours ahead of me. England? Ha happy New Year in like 45 seconds according to my clock, but you might be there. 
let's uh, ring in the new year by reading Streamlabs. How does that strike you? Bring Streamlabs over here. Get chat open. I had a good time. I want to be clear, by the way, that when I riff on the game, it's not like, I'm so much smarter than this game, and if I wrote it, I would make it so much better, but I just don't want to, I don't feel like writing it, because I'm above it. It's meant to be a good-natured banter, it's back and forth. The game leaves you some hooks to make fun of, and it also tells a story at the same time. We're collaborating, is the way I like to think of it. It's not like I'm starting the shit. Let's make fun of this stupid game that a lot of people worked real hard on. A little riffing never hurt anybody. Thank you to V. Hugh Besber, Sir Two Face Three, The Ogre Lord Shrek, Ben Catton, Camera De Cool, Daylight Wall, L. Pinch. I got a new mouse, so the scroll wheel actually works. It feels amazing. Talutate. Zazevi, Rave Lord Nito, DJ Morsi, Gunther the Penguin, Ronith, Emperor of Vespasian, Demon Sage 88, Vector Alpha, Wowie 123, Demon Sage 88, Dr. Wizard 24, Gay Froshy, Rock Path, T Swift Ears, 69ing Cows, Zach0978, Golden One Okami, Demon Biter, K Draw, I Am Alive Now, N Written H, Dudok 21, Pastram Pastrami Green, Tabering the Willy. I don't know about that one. Golden Okami. Or Golden One Okami. Golden One Okami. Old Kid. Extrapolation. Nomad Wolf. V. Who is Besber? V. Who Besber? Kappa Calculus. Noxu One. Kiwi Bear 47. Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. Pacific Sasquatch. Queen Sama. Skinny Stompin. 54 months in a row. Taminiage. Cornslayer 10, Bilo 123, Hard Scoop, Gila Bilai, Pete Rad Gumai Kandai, New Spire, Tsar Bomb, Kinko 123, Mantorok the Corpse God, Lechuga Cabra, Wizpretz, Mantorok the Corpse God, Anthenwam, An Accidental, Barbanium, Frost Lobster, Sobaman 1, Great Shark 19, Franke, Casual Millennial, Kenji Hikari, Qu Quique Que, Ian the Twitch Viewer, Dark Tidings will come for you and your kin. It's so menacing. Dark Chozo, Derex, Big Red 56, Logic Pound, Bagel, 1PD93, Subpar Looking Bro, Guardian, Tactical Truth TG, Dirty Head 7, Dirty Head 7, CDA Crusader, Milk and Ham, Yum Yum, Elvis 0898, Ashtray Milk, G Dog Casey, Scythe Train, Forgebot 1337, Pounds 1212, Brain Asium, Sea Pete, Pounds 1212, Tarnin, Boiled Triangles, Mr. Greenman, Suck Bowley, that's just Suck Boy, <laughs> Weighty, mm, Game Watch, Stern Payton, Lawn Dog, Felid Paints, GG, Watterson, Neon Bowie Stardust, Excalibur, Based Moose, Northern Wolf 01, Wari, Seafunk, Kazio, Donkey Pants, Murder Maggot, Exa Riot, Helra, Malyu, Umberskies, JBCDU87, Mr. Fred Grimm, Bonesaw 9, 2017 was a mistake, Retromaniac 92, War and Peace, H2 Bridge, Smacks 170, Isaac the Great 84, Daniel, I Like to Vike, Baturndal 54 months, Bazooka, On Soul X, Lapona, Lou Spowles, <laughs> Silama CSGO, Oakleaf Gaming, Brash Bull, Abunineko, Abunineko, I don't know, I'm always worried about saying anything in Japanese. Bagel Comet, Halcyon 1664. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for making an effort to watch without ad block, and uh, thanks for all the support. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, Kate is not streaming because we have New Year's plans. Who is streaming that is going to continue to stream? I am going to host Michael Ale Fox because he is playing. 
Slay the Spire. And I don't get a chance to host him that much. And Slay the Spire is a great game. And I love Mouth. So I'm going to... Let's raid Michael Hail Fox. I also love Slay the Spire. I've been playing a ton of that. Adam, I going to see you downtown today, Northern Lion. Uh, I don't know who Adam is. I'm Ryan. You will not see me downtown. Unless something goes terribly wrong. I was there last year. Took the SkyTrain home at like 1 a.m. It was like uh, Tokyo Rush Hour. But it was a fun experience. Before you host Malf, you should know that The Shape of Water is 100% a Ryan movie. Can't wait to see it. I love me some fish ass. And Guillermo Deltaro. Have fun in Malf stream. Tell him Shroud hosted him. It'll really mess him up. See you soon.